You want me to start? You want me to start now? Yeah. Okay. Welcome back to the Cosmic Kickback, everybody. Thanks for everyone for tuning in. We're going to be going back to our kind of old ways and doing a movie review for this episode. Uh, we're going to be talking about the multiverse of madness. Yo. And uh, what was the last thing? Spawn. No, I already said that. that's the movie review. Uh, Spawn. Oh, yeah. We're going to be talking about Spawn. That's right. Uh, for everybody watching, we have a kind of like our best setup, I guess. We can have like a new setup. Christian's being our producer. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> it's actually very nice not having to, to get up and change the camera. I don't know if you guys watch YouTube, but I'll be getting up a lot. Yeah, Nick, uh, we, we're still using the start, the startup kit. <laughs> camera can record for like 30 minutes at a time. So it is what it is. But If anyone wants to buy a camera, I'm selling it. This right. camera. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> $400. Asking Damn. price. All right. So uh, is this our first like spooktober episode, even though October is about to end? I guess so. we're going <laughs> to drop like four videos in the next three days, bro. We better. <sighs> yeah, we just finished watching uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Christian just put it on and Josh came over and we hung out. It's a pretty cool movie. Um, from very the- 80s. A That's lot true. of practical effects and stuff. I like the movie. If you guys haven't seen it, I'd recommend that you go see it. <laughs> You know, I've always saw that movie, like the the main poster or cover for it. I remember being in Blockbuster as a kid and seeing it and something about the clown. I was like, yo, I got I want to watch that. But I've never, never watched it until today. It looked really weird. Came out in uh, 1988. It actually is later than I expected. I thought it'd be early 80s. Yeah, 88. Uh, what else? Yo, it says they're making uh, the return of the killer clowns from outer space. <gasps> Wait, is it already out? Wait, what is this? Is that the second one? That says in 3D. Yeah, what the heck? Did this already come out? Hang on, I'm checking. I'm, I'm fact checking real quick. Now oh, we got Christian, bro. I don't know. I don't know what this is, actually. Yeah, Christian's the man, bro. Look at this. I'm not sure what this is, but... I'd like to see a second one. What confuses me is it says, like, watched it. Like, if I've watched it before, but... Oh, I don't think this is came out because there's no trailer. There's no cast. Actually, there's a director. It was a canceled sequel from 1988. Canceled. Oh. Okay. So this is, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Um, That's yeah. crazy. Okay. Apparently it was planned, but uh, due to production issues, principal photography and ethics between different producers, it never came out. <sighs> That's crazy. Why is it always like the films everyone's like hyped for? They, they just can't agree on it, bro. That shit happens all the time. <sighs> It'd be like that sometimes, bro. But yeah, the uh, movie was actually pretty short. I think it was only about an hour and like 15. A, yeah, like an hour and a half. Hour maybe. 20, something like that. Pretty short movie. Uh, the plot is so simple. It's just like some random clowns from outer space pull up and then they kill everybody or they're trying to kill. Pretty much. That's that's the plot. It's pretty simple. <laughs> the chief of police. Oh, what was his name? Mooney? Mooney. Yeah, pretty much see the whole movie. There's like a chief of police. He's just sitting in his office and all the phones are ringing. And everyone's like, yo, there's clowns. Like, they're killing people. And he's just like, oh, what the fuck? He just like hangs up. It's he, not he even He thinks that. it's like kids that are pranking him or something. Yeah, but like, it's not even like to that extent. Like, he does that. But it w- in real life, that would make sense. If someone told me that, I'd be like, bro, like, chill out. Come yeah. on. But his partner, his other police officer straight up calls, freaking out. Is saying dudes are getting killed, bro. And then he's just like, bro, fuck you. Over and out. Like, he literally says, fuck you, I think. I'm out. And then he, then he's like, wait, what happened? He's like, oh, he cut me off. I can't call him back. The line's dead. But oh this dude's God. just an asshole. Like, there's no redemption. This dude and just... I think they're the only two, like, police officers in the whole town. Yeah, it's so it's like, this is, like, town. the only other police officer you could trust. And you're just like, yeah, fuck. Well, he wasn't the police chief. He's like, stop the cat. The chief was going to come in on Monday. Remember, that's oh, that's saying. right. Ah, that's also, so dumb. A little bit of information on the reason the sequel never came out. Um, actually, you'll probably be glad the sequel didn't come out. The rights were assumed by in October of 2018 by Sci-Fi, who makes really terrible, terrible movies. Like I heard Shudder is like the other... Yeah, they're doing pretty cool things. Like Sharknado and stuff. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 12 of them. I um, wouldn't... The rights were actually acquired by 20th Century Fox... Who was going to create a sequel that was supposed to come out this year, 2020. But then Disney bought them. Disney bought them and then Disney said that they don't want to be involved in anything that requires killer clowns or anything. Oh my god. Hmm. So what, are they just going to sell the property? Uh, we could buy it. And the property's up for grabs right now by a bunch of different companies. But 
considering how it has a cult following, they're putting it up for quite a bit. I feel like within the next 10 years, they'll probably reboot it in some form yeah. or fashion. Hopefully, Hopefully it's like a cool that. reboot, like how they did it. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a very 80s movie. The It's kind of funny looking back on it. Um, I'm sure it was funny watching it, too. I can't imagine this was a crazy, scary movie back in the day. Nah. It's kind of campy. Apparently it was. I don't yeah, know. It's pretty campy. But what I do like, I love the uh, I love the masks or whatever costumes they gave him. People yeah. that played the clowns. Dude, the count the clowns are like eight foot. Yeah, like eight feet they have tall. big ass heads. They all look a little different. Their mouths are actually like opening, like wide. They <laughs> have <laughs> teeth and shit. Do they sell pops, dude? Can you look that up, Christian? Do they sell pops? Do I don't they think they would, because like space pops, or at least a figure, anything. I like have merch. Idea, actually. Oh, they actually do. Yo, really? Um, yeah, Terry Clown Pops. They have uh, they have Slim, they have Spiky, they have Funky, and they have these. <laughs> Spiky, they have names. Funky, <laughs> <laughs> they Danky. Have jum- they have Jumbo too. Danky. Really oh, is that that big ass dude? The really tall one. Oh my god. Up, uh, money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was also kind of funny seeing everybody like. I know they died pretty fucked up ways, but like <laughs> the way the clowns do it is just kind of like it's, it's funny. Like it's corny, but it's funny. Wait, so did it when he Let killed the uh, the Mooney guy, the other police officer, the one that was being an Yo. asshole? Did did he shove his hand up his ass and use it like he was a ventriloquist puppet? Is that what he did? I think he had his hand in his back or something. I swear it was like up his ass or some shit, and then like he just dropped him. I don't know how human like, ventriloquist. His hand was all bloody then. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it just smells it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't know. So, Nick, what did you think? Most important question everyone's uh, thinking if they've seen this film. If you haven't, but this is the best part for Nick. Uh, we got some clown hookers or, like, girl clowns <laughs> <laughs> at one point. What did you think of them, Nick? They look pretty musty. <laughs> they Wait, they pretty much say? look just like the clowns, but, like, with they, hair and earrings. They got boobs. Oh, yeah, their boobs started growing. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, so those two, did those two dudes fuck the clowns? The yeah. female clowns? Yeah. They that's, didn't. That's what's supposed to be like implied <laughs> oh my god damn i got that clown pussy. Lay the pipe okay. down yo i missed it right no <laughs> <laughs> oh my god well, if you remember when they saw them later on that's where they had the kisses on and the clown lingerie wearing oh oh geez, dude oh damn i need to get the uh, director's cut and see that <laughs> the director's <laughs> cut <laughs> oh I my god a scene with the fucking deleted movie. scenes they're just like ah, ah, ah. <laughs> oh jeez making all weird sounds and shit what else happened in this movie Nick <sighs> um some things that stood out to you I mean besides the story I really like the practical effects I think yeah the only times they really used special effects was when they I guess zapped them and maybe like when they used the shadow like on the wall that whole scene that, that was pretty cool yeah but everything else was pretty like practical effects which I'm like a really big fan especially from the 80s because I think probably like 80s 90s is when it was like at its best or it was so like widely used that it was just so good. But yeah, I like the little uh, cotton candy sacks full of humans. That was, <laughs> that was pretty weird. Like their popcorn guns. Oh yeah, <laughs> dude, that was weird as fuck when they all became alive. And, oh, like, they just came out of her bathroom wall and shit, and they're just like, oh, like, oh yeah, they're like biting her and shit. Yeah, they look like these snake clown things. Yeah. Oh so were, the, were those like babies or something? They were supposed to be like uh, mutated versions of humans because they shot the humans and then they turn into popcorn and they would snatch them and put them in a jacket. Oh, the people turned into popcorn. Yeah, he turned the people into popcorn and then they grew from the popcorn into like mutated. Oh shit! Okay. Clown okay. Human people. Damn. Damn. Okay. That's pretty cool. Bro, there's so much clown lore. I know. <laughs> we could break it down. Was well, there I- anything that like? came out after the movie that like gave more backstory uh, or is this just like a standalone thing apparently it was the basis in some sort of weird comic book or something Let me check oh there's it. a comic oh, book there's a lot of they make comics for a lot of cult classic type stuff like if, if you i was like gonna ask if, there's a comic for it i was gonna ask if there was a comic but i, I just didn't really didn't think there could be there probably is there, there's comics for everything that's weird though uh yeah it's actually uh, believe it or not the um <laughs> the comic book publisher the publication that releases the killer clown comic book series is called clown comics <laughs> yeah that makes sense pretty much entirely based on the exploits of clowns across the universe you know? okay okay how would how would this be adapted today that's i think that's a good question like what would they do differently are they are they going to keep it exactly the same are they going to just have like like shooting popcorn at them 
How would it be? What do you think they would do? I think... Make it more... I don't know. That's a good question. I think nowadays they probably would... Huh? Oh, sorry. I think nowadays that they would probably keep stuff from, like, the first film, how it was, like, kind of goofy. But, like, there was still violence, but kind of just, like, put at a higher scale. Kind of like how they did, like, the old it and the new one. You know the what I mean? It? Oh, yeah. Because there was some hmm. weird stuff in that one, but then, like, the second one is, like... There were still parts where he was freaking the kids out, and it was kind of funny. You're just like, what the fuck? Yeah. I, don't know. Yeah, I, don't I know. think I think the violence would probably be the same, just more, like, modernized. I'm trying to see more blood. Yeah. I'm trying to see, like, the weird stuff they had in this one. Though. I'm trying like, to actually see the clown titty. <laughs> I think it's, like, red nipples. Yeah. Like, white skin. They, they, they probably look like... Um, little horn, like, noses on them. Yeah, they definitely look like the clown nose. They got That's how the nipples look, and they, like, honk them. <laughs> are <laughs> they pierced? Ooh. Now, are they, are they nipple piercings or are they nose piercings because they're noses? Hmm. Oh, that's a good question. You could you could put some the hot uh, takes. You could definitely put some hoop rings on that. That would work. <laughs> Just pull them. Because <laughs> hoop, you can have the nose as a hoop piercing. There's a favorite sequence in the movie. Who else can do? Nick, I'll let you go first. I got some. I need to think. Favorite <sighs> sequence. My favorite sequence. I know there's three that like stood out to me. Hmm. I really like the shadow one. When like all those people get like consumed by the shadow, but yes. I also really like the uh, the whole like bathroom scene when those little like heads came out and stuff because it just oh, it just reminded me of the thing so much like these tiny little like shrunken heads and shit like coming out of the wall they were like coming out of the basket. Yes. I thought that was really cool. I liked it. Yeah, I like the uh, when Nick the shadow scene that Nick's referring to. What he if you haven't seen the movie, it's the clown. One of them is attacking some. He's not actually, he doesn't attack. He pulls up. They think he's just like a clown, a nice clown or something. People sitting at a park bench or a bus stop. Yeah. And he gets his hands together and he's doing like hand puppets or shadow puppets, whatever it's called. And it's kind of funny because it starts off like it's a rabbit. Like, oh. And then out of nowhere, he's got like a boat with like six people on it and all this crazy (laughs) shit. And then he turns it into like a T-Rex. Yeah. And it goes down the shadow and it bites the people watching it and then they disappear. It's a pretty cool effect, um, actually. I actually like that scene also for that. And that's probably my pick, too, honestly. That's probably my favorite sequence of the movie. Either that or the uh, clown hose. <laughs> <laughs> but show. Dude, yeah. Dude, they were, like, chilling in a ball pit. Wait, so does that mean the clowns reproduce? If there's, like, women? Oh, hell yeah. Dude, like, yeah. they just... They're intelligent beings, bro. <laughs> They'd be pounding. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking. Oh my god. I really like their spaceship too. Oh, it's just a big ass like circus tent. And then on the bottom it's like a spaceship. Oh, yeah, really the, yeah, their spaceship's literally like what you would imagine a a giant circus tent. It's just put up. It's <laughs> I really like that too. That's so weird. Right, hang on. I'm looking up the uh some people's reviews on this on Letterbox. I'm kind of curious to see what people said. Oh yeah, go uh go follow us on Letterbox by the way. Yeah. If you don't know what it is, it's pretty much like Instagram for movie lovers. So follow that Nick. Go follow me. Oh, uh, final word from y'all before you look at the reviews. What would you give me? Uh, probably at four stars. Okay. I just wish it was longer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'd probably give it a. I mean. I'm not like trying to like critique it too much i'm just like oh this is like a fun movie i think it's a fun movie too so i'd probably just give it like an average rating whatever you would think is considered average like three and a half three. maybe back in the day i would have been like yo yeah but like looking back on it it's just kind of funny so <laughs> but I, I appreciate the uh practical effects and stuff that went into it yes sir. so i'd probably give it whatever you would consider average so if we're going out of 10 maybe like, like five maybe six like a, maybe like a six or a seven something like that I forgot how to look at reviews on Letterboxd. I have them here, but I wanted to I wanted to read a review on somebody that really liked it and somebody that didn't like it. So I wanted to get like a, a five star rating and then a uh, a very low star rating, you know? Yeah. Let me look at one. Let me see. Sort by Oh, here we go. Lowest first. So I'll read a a low review. Someone gave it four stars and said the movie had a budget of two million dollars. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's actually a lot of money for like that, an yeah, 80s that, movie. That is a lot. What the hell? Okay, Nick, you read a, read a good review and then I'll read a bad review. 
Um, all right, I found a five-star review, and they liked it. Uh, it says, Killer Clowns from Outer Space is so creative and visually the epitome of fun. For some reason, I wasn't completely smitten the first time I watched it. But something finally clicked last night, and I'm now totally devoted. That's crazy. What's really impressive is that it's so bright and colorful and silly, but there are genuine creepy moments too, specifically during the hand puppet scene when the clown says, don't worry, Dave, all we want to do is kill you. Oh, that was really creepy. I didn't, and now I just thought of that again. Mm -hmm. uh, it chilled me to the bone, and I already want to watch it again. What a turnaround. All right, cool. So uh, I got two here. Uh, both of them are half star ratings. Um, one says, multiple times where it appears an actor forgot their lines. The clowns were creepy, but not believable as killers because they walk so slow. <laughs> and another one is, this was the worst movie I've ever watched in my entire life. It was painful to get through. It was awful. I'm legitimately shocked that this has an average rating of 3.2 out of 5 stars on here. That person's just stupid. What you think? <laughs> Here, let me let me shout them out. It's uh that that was from Pep Nine and Stacy Wilson. Go bully them. <laughs> go, <laughs> go bully them in the comments. Go, go bully Stacy. Go report their letterbox account. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, like you can like it or hate it. I Damn. liked it. Someone said did not finish. It was stupid and too straightforward. I thought there would be comedy, but apparently, clowns slowly menacing people is comedy. I thought it was funny how the people died. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there we go. We got a couple of uh, good reviews and some bad reviews. Go watch it. I, rec I I would I would say no matter if a movie's completely shit or really good, I think you should watch it. Yeah. Just to, just to get just learn something. Yeah, you can you can learn something from anything. Learn what not to do or what to do when exactly. you're making something. And one thing that people might be learning from their mistakes. Speaking of that, is uh, our sponsor Skillshare. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say Sony. Oh uh, yeah. We got a not a Sony movie officially, but a Sony and Marvel Studios movie. We had some news come out recently that we're just now talking about a little late, but wanted to talk about it. We got some casting reportedly where we're getting the return of uh, Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire as their respective Spider Men's in the Spider Man Three movie with Tom Holland. What, what, what you think of this, Nick? Dude, I'm super excited. So I don't know if they're just gonna show them in like quick little like. They're just jumping through multiverses, I guess, and they just see them, or like they actually all meet up and do something in the movie. I want them all to meet up and do yeah. something. I, I think if you're going to do this, you have to do it right, and you have to do it... You can't just put, put them in for a little cameo. And reportedly, um, Tobey Maguire, actually, what I've heard as a rumor, is he, he was talking uh, negotiations with it, and one thing he said, it, it wasn't that he was arguing for more money. He actually was arguing for more screen time he was oh, saying he wants to have more um scenes where his mask is off so he can actually act he wants to act in the movie more so yeah that's cool so if he wants he, it seems like he wants to actually like do something and not just kind of yeah have be, a little pull. no fan service yeah so i mean i'm all for this i'm really hyped for this Dude, um, yeah it's crazy it's happened like over the past like like 20 years we've gotten three different spider-mans and now they're just gonna meet up Another thing, they also have um, Jamie Foxx is coming back. Playing Electro. Oh, it's Electro, right? Yeah. <laughs> I never saw the second Amazing Spider-Man, but I heard he's good. Yeah. I just, I know his, his he's, character kind of goofy. He plays like a nerd, he's like, but oh, it's like, poo. it's a very unrealistic nerd. Yeah, he's like fucking, he goes insane because Spider-Man saves his life. He's like, Spider-Man, my friend. It, ma it makes no sense. He's like a, he's like a diehard Spider-Man fan. Uh -huh. And then Spider-Man saves his life and he meets him. So he thinks that they're friends. And then he gets mad because Spider-Man forgets his birthday, I think. I don't know. I haven't seen it in years what? or something. And he gets... This is a plot. Yeah. He gets, <laughs> he gets fucking bullied and shit. He, mm -hmm. And one of the funniest things Bully is he, get, he gets his powers from falling into like a vat with like electric eels. Oh, and then it, there's, a, there's literally a shot of this where they zoom in. Before he got his powers, he had a gap tooth. They zoom in on the gap and the electricity like pulls the teeth together and <laughs> fixes his gap. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck uh, they, they, oh my god! I don't know. I like Andrew Garfield's Spider Man though. I think he's okay. I, I, yeah, I've never, it's not the best, but I liked it. He has a good interpretation, but to be honest, he just didn't fit any of the roles of Spider Man as yeah. like a nerd and 
Yeah, he was really douchebag. Yeah, I think I, I, I put a lot of that on probably Sony and the producers and whoever, whatever yeah, they're. I know he's was. a good actor. It sucks yeah. whenever like it's a good actor and then like it's just the shit they're given. Well, yeah, because I know I know for a fact that they were trying to do something different because they made Peter Parker like a fucking skater boy for some reason. Yeah, there's like a whole scene in one of Bro. them where he just like starts grinding on rails and shit on his skateboard. It's like, all right. Oh, I thought you meant grinding on Gwen. He did that too. A lot of that. He's like, oh. There's a lot of fucking making out in this movie, bro. I remember. <laughs> God, we should rewatch that one. We should. We need to rewatch all the Spider-Man ones before the third one. Oh my god. We should just take on the trilogy. Well, they just started filming it. Yeah. Tom Holland was like, "I'm out here filming in it." Well, I think the same. Re- <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I sent you the on his IG. It's like Spider-Man three guys. Let's go. He was like, "Where the fuck was he? He was somewhere." We out here in it. We are <laughs> in it. <laughs> no, British people are cool. Don't worry. Dude, dude, I'm sure they make fun of American accents too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. But yeah. So I'm I'm really excited for that. Um. I'm, yeah. I'm so hyped for it. What I what I don't want to happen. I don't know. I if there's so much that can. Ha- what, wait, hang on. Before we talk about that, did you see Jamie Foxx actually posted a picture on Instagram about? Like he confirmed it a hundred percent that he's gonna be in it. He made a post. Oh my god! And he said, but he deleted it. Like he deleted it like ten minutes after it was up. So you can Google it and like find like, screenshots of it. But for a little bit, it was up. And in the description, he was like, "You know, I'm back, boys. Like Electro. Like let's do it." And this next Spider-Man with Tom Holland. And then he said, "This time I won't be blue." So then he deleted that because maybe he said too much. But I thought that was interesting. Cause maybe he, the studio just dropped. He was them. the blue Electro. Because in the comics, the original one's like green and gold electricity. Like, oh yeah. And then they in the in the Ultimate comics, they Me make the him boys. Blue. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm damn. Like, why the hell do we do that for Halloween? That'd be funny. <laughs> but what oh, do you think? Yeah. So he's gonna be. I guess they're gonna maybe go for a more classic look. I don't That'd know. That'd be cool, dude. I can already imagine Jamie Foxx like in an all green like suit with like the freaking. Uh... Do you think they're gonna do the mask? It's kind of very. It is pretty out. Very comic-y. Yeah. What do you think they'll do? You know what? You think what they'll do what they did in the uh, the Spider-Man PS4 game? Did you ever get to the part where Electro pulls up? Mm-hmm. He has like these. He has like electricity scars on his face. Oh yeah, that's really cool too. So I did that. Yeah, that's a cool design too. I'd be cool even if they don't give him the mask. If he at least, I could see him wearing like a green suit with like electricity running through it. Yeah, like, like ye- some iron yellow man. electricity. I could see that existing in this this universe. Yeah. But who may they? I could see them maybe going full out comic too and doing the uh, yeah. the mask. That's what they've been doing. The at past, this point, they've been going the Tom Holland trilogy. They had Ch- Thanos. He's already had like them. four spider suits now. Oh yeah, they're going out there. I like it. So yeah, I like Mysterio's costume too in the second one. I think oh, they did dude, it pretty. It looks good. just like it because it was like comic so book happy. but like modernized. You know, it was so I was so happy. With <sighs> that was this. pretty cool. Yeah. Oh man, <sighs> it's great. Okay. Anything else you gotta say about that before we move on to another side thing? I just hope they do the Spider Man pointy meme. If like <laughs> if they meet up and it's just like, oh my god. <laughs> I don't think they even would know each other. They they would have to be wearing their suits and then just be like like what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. I hope they do that. That would be pretty funny. Oh, they hey before you move Or like on, as a post credit scene. Apparently they're talking to Emma Stone. They want her to appear in it too. Oh, <gasps> That's what I've heard. I don't and know. She if played a uh, Gwen. I'm not sure if they want her to be in that or if it's the Doctor Strange two Multiverse of Madness because they're both casting a ton of people from like all over the place. It's crazy. I can't remember specifically which one they wanted her for, but I know I read something about that. Well, if you look at Multiverse of Madness, um, just the uh, as far as they have in casting so far, they have Ryan Reynolds. Um, really? Yeah, apparently. He's Ryan Reynolds. Like, Ryan Reynolds is coming in there. Um, Andrew Garfield and Toby Andrew Garfield. Garfield. Damn, dude. So, I mean, I'm not sure what they're going to do. Dude. When does that movie come out? Like, March? In March of 2022, right? I think. So. Yeah. I think it was supposed to come out. Yeah, everything got pushed back here. I don't here. even remember, bro. We were supposed to see stuff by now. We were supposed to see Eternals next month. Vision We were and supposed Wanda. to see... That didn't get pushed back, actually. That's still coming out in December, I think. Mm. What got pushed back was Shang-Chi. We were supposed to see that, I think, next oh. May. And we were supposed to see Black Widow like months ago. Oh yeah, like in March or yeah. May. Damn. Yeah, I haven't seen a Marvel movie since like Endgame, man. <laughs> I've taken like what a. What was little... the last one that came out? Uh, it will probably be Far From Home. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, Spider-Man. I saw Far From Home. That's right. I saw Far From yeah. Home. That came out like last summer, like a year ago. Dude, yeah. 
It's been over a year since the Marvel. Movie I saw that there. with my ex. Still yeah. want to see the Moon Knight. Oh wow. my god, yeah. Remember the RDC video? When they, uh, they're they like, how do you feel you got your own movie? And it's like, I oh know they're interviewing Blade too. It's like, you gonna talk about, you gonna disrespect Blade? It's like, I got my own movie, bro. Didn't Blade get a series? Yeah. A series. Uh, yes, yeah. So Blade, who's gonna play Moon Knight? Do they even know? Oh, they just cast it. Did you hear? Oh, who? It's, uh, what's his name? Yeah, Look him up. Look no, him up, it's not, it's not even McGregor. It's, it's the- uh, Oscar Isaac. Yo. Yeah, Damn. When yeah, I, I think they can't cast any more people in the MCU, like, just. <laughs> That's a pretty good casting. And one, a reason why it was trending recently is because he also got cast, but there was also a, uh, there was a rumor that it was somebody going to be somebody else right before they announced that it was Oscar Isaac. And the person that it was rumored to be before, everybody was like, hell no. Like, I swear to God, if it's him, I'm going to be pissed. And I, I, I want to figure out who it was. I just, I read Damn, it the other day. I can confirm that's going to be Oscar Isaac. Let's um, go. That's awesome. Who do you know about Moon Knight so far, Nick? Uh, I know he's actually really powerful. Isn't he like, what's he called? He's white, Nick. Yeah, so he gets his power from the moon. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know Do much you know about origin? him. The origin is he goes to he's like a he's archaeologist or something. He goes to Egypt he's and he's um Is he just like Marvel uh, Doctor Fate? Well, um, no. No, no, he doesn't have magic. He's he's like he's, he's more if you he's more like Batman if you're going to compare him to anybody. Ooh. So, so um, that's cool. A little bit of backstory on Moon Knight was he wasn't actually the archaeologist. He was more so like a mercenary who was working for an archaeologist in in like Egypt and I think some sort of curse happened that killed everybody and he was the only person to survive and the they basically chose like moon god chose him to become like the champion to fight crime and shit yeah that's the story damn he also suffers from ptsd and multi-personality disorder which yeah so it's like split it becomes like one of his villains i think like one of his whoa that's weird that's really cool it's like a mental fight it's fucking strange I can't figure out who the there was a casting rumor where everybody was flipping shit because I probably be, just left the internet. Yeah, it, it, I know it was gonna be it is Oscar Isaac, but right before that, people were like, "Oh, rumor is it's gonna be this guy," and everybody lost yeah, their minds. It. it was crazy. So that yeah, I'm really what's cool about that is since it's gonna be Disney Plus is they they said that it's gonna be more connected than the Netflix shows ever were. So I'm guessing all those Netflix shows like Daredevil and all that aren't technically canon anymore in the MCU. But these ones, they said they're going to appear in the Disney Plus show first and then they're going to appear in movies later on. So it's pretty, pretty interesting. Yeah, over here it says Moon Knight, a.k.a. Mark Spector, is a mercenary who has numerous alter egos. Cabby, Jake Lockley, Millionaire, Playboy, Stephen Grant. Um, there's a bunch of other shit. Um... Basically, he's like a, a conduit for Moon God. He has like superpowers, like super speed. He's like Captain America, basically, as far as powers go. Damn. Definitely different, different personality. Than you like the, you like the Moon Nick? Yeah, I like so nighttime. Like so yeah, that that's a cool casting rumor. Um, Iman Vellani is gonna be playing She Hulk. Oh yeah, I saw that. Who's that? She is. I feel like I've seen her before. Let me show you. Uh, what's actually weird about that casting is she. I'm trying to remember what is she. What else has she been in? Mm. Hang on, I'm just gonna copy and paste her name. But yeah, she. They they casted her or whatever, but then she she came out and recently just said, actually, I'm not cast as She Hulk. That was just a rumor that got really out of hand. So she's saying she's not it. But I think she's just Catman because Mark Ruffalo himself literally congratulated her on joining the MCU and was just like, because the Hulk's like supposed to be her cousin. So he made a tweet and he was like, welcome to the family, cuz they're like something like that. So (laughs) (laughs) I I think she's Catman. Like there's no way like Marvel Studios would tell Mark Ruffalo and all these people and be like, yeah, but she in. And then she's just like, oh, I'm not. Yeah, we lying. Like she's definitely Catman. I don't know why. Yeah, she's been. Oh, she's in Perry Mason. She did that detective show on HBO. She's on uh, Orphan um, Black. A couple movies I have not seen. 
a lot of these movies I haven't seen. Oh, Troll Hunters, I know Nick likes that. Uh, yeah, I, I have not seen any of these. Damn, she's in a lot. Yeah, I've heard what she, the fuck? I've heard she's a good actress from the way people have been responding to her being in it, but damn, that's crazy. Dude, people, that's like at least 30 movies. Yeah. All right, now, what do you think? You think she looks like She-Hulk to you? Um, I, mean, I don't think She-Hulk really has a like specific look. Yeah, remember I they, think she's a good cast. Remember they said they were looking for an Allison Brie type. Dude, I wish Allison Brie was in it. I love her in Community, but yeah, I've been I thought watching it was going to be her for a second too. I'm cool with this though, but I really like I Allison hope she's Brie. Not it now. <laughs> I hope she's. Or at not least it. Allison Brie I is like so. her helper or something. I really want Allison Brie. I love her. I need to rework the baddie list, man. I've been I've been finding more baddies. Oh yeah, if you guys have listened, we have a baddie list up right now on one of our past episodes where we give our top five baddies, which pretty much means attractive women. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Nick has rethought, and he has pushed somebody completely out of his list and added in others. Oh yeah, I'm taking a call real quick on the podcast. <laughs> okay, that's that's fine. Hello. Okay, can you drive over the Nick's? Because like we're wrapping up this episode soon, and then we can go back. He's uh talking to his girlfriend. Everybody. Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to put you on speaker so the podcast can hear you. <laughs> Say hello to the fans. Hello? <laughs> All right, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, okay. You got a ride? Yeah, just p- come pick me up and then I'll be done here soon. Okay, I'm on my way. All right. All right. Love you, bye. Love you too, bye. Mm-hmm. Walking. All right, we back. So... Yeah, there's a lot of cool things going on in the Marvel Universe. I'm, I'm hyped to see them come back. Um, before we move completely out of Marvel news, I want to talk about DC for a bit. I know we've been on DC for months, but have you, heard, them. have you heard the recent stuff that has happened with the Snyder Cut? Mm-mm. Okay. I've heard so, of things have. They're currently reshooting, okay? Scenes that I guess either needed to be reshot or were never shot in the first place because he got... As we know, Zack Snyder didn't finish, whatever. Yeah. But they have some actors in. I don't know. Ones that have already been in it. But the ones that are coming that were not in the original cut are they're filming with uh, Jared Leto. So the Joker is going to be in it. Oh, wow. We don't know how or in what capacity, but he's going to be in it. And then they're in talks because I assume this wasn't on her contract. Um, all the other ones are confirmed. This one is still in talks, but they want to get Margot Robbie in there as Harley Quinn for whatever kind of role in this. I don't know what. And there was one more, I think. But those were the two like ones that I was like, yo, for real? What about uh, Affleck? Is he going to reshoot? Yeah, he's reshooting right now also. Wow. He's reshooting. They pre- Cyborg's reshooting right now. Um, the big rumor that I read, and this this one is more of a rumor than the other. The other ones are confirmed. Like Jared Leto is shooting right now as Joker. Uh, <laughs> and so Margaret Robbie, they're trying to get her to come in. And then the one that was, this is a rumor Apparently, um, Ben Affleck sources close to this one source. I don't know what source it is, but apparently Ben Affleck is back. The the they saying he is signed on for films in an Elseworld universe, so Zack Snyder's universe, uh, where he will have his own HBO Max series, which is more like a movie. Oh yeah, I saw that. He's gonna write his own series and shit. so apparently that is confirmed. I don't know if it's confirmed. It's not. It's a rumor. I hope this is a rumor, but I'm going to take it with a grain of salt because he's been in and out for years. But it seems it seems to me like he was hyped to do what Zack Snyder wanted to do. And then as soon as Zack Snyder got pushed out by DC and they started doing their own thing, he was like, I want to get the fuck out like now. Yeah. But yeah. So rumor Birds of Prey star Margaret Robbie is in talks to join Justice League. So that's those are the two big ones. Jared Leto's 100% in it as Joker. Margaret Robbie's joining. Uh, Especially with Cyborg. The drama that happened there with Doctor oh yeah yeah for sure so i think like, i think we talked about that a little bit yeah we did so yeah like if cyborg is willing to reshoot um especially considering everything that happened with josh whedon that shows how much faith he has in Zack snyder yeah movies. and another thing um from Zack snyder's justice league a uh, producer credit has been removed from his and it's jeff johns who was another producer who uh ray fisher called out said it was him and josh whedon that were having problematic uh, stuff on the on the filming of the Justice League. Not sure what, but just being little bitches. <laughs> what do you mean? Josh Whedon's the only producer. Let's see. 
I think that's everything I have for this certain news. Yeah. Uh, Jared Leto reprising his role. Margot Robbie in talks. Uh, I think that's everything. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, yeah, here was the other one. Um, Joe uh, Maggiello, or Maginello, whatever. The guy is Deathstroke. Oh, yeah. He's coming back, and he's filming ad- additional shoots for uh, Justice League. So he's coming back and filming something. And is that everything? Oh, this is the only other rumor. It said, rumor, more previous DCEU characters are reportedly set to be appearing in Zack Snyder's Justice League. They don't specify who. They just say more than what we've heard. So... More besides Harley Quinn, Joker, uh, Deathstroke, all that. What do you think of that, Nick? You That's hyped? awesome. I'm really hyped. That's so cool that, like, I know they said, uh, they were like, oh, we're not going to be doing any more reshoots and stuff. We're just working with what we have. And then they just added all that, like, by surprise. <laughs> I'm kind of glad they're doing this because now this lets me know for sure that there's stuff we have not even ever seen. Yeah, all like, new. Like, it's, I'm really excited for that, even more so than yeah. I was before now. Them. Damn, dude. They got Margo in there, bro. And isn't it coming out? Um, I think like next year, May, June, supposedly. I thought it was 21. Yeah, next year's 21. Oh, yeah, yeah. So May of next year. You think we're in 2019 still? I wish. <laughs> Shit was easy. Be right. Yo. Shit was easy, man. Hey, yo. What? Nick. Just looking at some ass. You trying to show the camera real quick? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no i'll throw up what nick was looking at on the screen right now if you're watching on youtube actually no that'll probably get removed <laughs> yeah with some dead puppies no um <laughs> next up what was it spawn yeah i don't i know jack shit about the new spawn movie yeah christian please uh, i didn't even look know some that stuff they, were, up. they were confirming it so he's gonna be the, playing the spawn this is news to me isn't spawn a uh, dc nah mortal is, um dark horse i think I think it's Dark Horse. It's not the same comic. Or, or it's Image Comics. Image Comics or Dark Horse, oh. one of the two. I don't know. I thought he was a... I swear he was a freaking Spider-Man villain. No, nah, boy. Who's the guy I'm thinking about then? Venom? No. Craven the Hunter? Because he was... Yeah, Craven. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, Spawn is owned by... Let's see. Wasn't, he, wasn't Spawn in the uh, MK he games? In, he did appear in an MK game. Yeah. That's or cool. was it an Injustice? MK11. Okay. Oh, Injustice is good. Part of Marvel. Oh, really? Made by Todd McFarlane. He's actually owned by Image Comics at this moment. Yeah, I um, told you, boy. Yeah, so... Spawn has never been part of Marvel Comics, even though he's created by Marvel. Um, so yeah, this is great dead hair. The only thing <laughs> <laughs> We're like learning as we go. We don't know okay, so he's a Marvel. he's a Dark Horse or Image Comics character. He's not, and he was Marvel. Yes, he was Marvel. Okay. Never actually officially Marvel. Now, what is he like? An anti-hero or what is he? He's more. Okay. Sometimes he does things that are incredible. Like, it's, it's hard to say whether he's an anti-hero, full on, or he's just gonna fall into any of the categories. Yeah, only because sometimes he just switches personality like that. Damn. Between so is he kind of like Deadpool? Kind like, of, but more so he switches. Like he just does what he wants for himself? Not really, because sometimes he becomes super altruistic. Oh. But other times he's just hateful and spiteful, depending on whatever comic book series you read on. That's um, weird. He's fought in a lot of villains, including the Violator. Okay, I see giant, The Violator? It's a giant killer clown. What? Yeah. Oh, shut the hell no, up. Like, <laughs> this is his main villain. It's a giant killer clown who's like a pedophile. He's Yo. Less people. That sounds like real life. Nick type beat? Nah. Don't do that, dude. <laughs> the Violator? Yeah. Dude, what a name. The Violator. Holy shit. I'm not even joking. It's a you giant see him? killer clown. It's a... Uh... Oh god, <laughs> dude, he looks like Danny DeVito. <laughs> <laughs> dude, he he should play him. Oh my god, <laughs> bro, if he was in the Spawn movie, no, he actually did come out in the Spawn movie. He made an appearance as a uh, the actor who played him was John Leguizamo. In the old one, the one that came out like in the nineties. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a nineties Spawn movie. Yeah, with Michael J. White. Yo, the guy who comes out in that Batman. Wow, we need to watch this and review it immediately. You've never seen? Is that him? Yeah, no. that's like, that looks like the violator. So spawn, spawn. Dude, this is so wacky. What the hell? <laughs> oh god, he's fucking ugly. Hell yeah, bro. He's, what like, is... he's like a demon or some shit, right? He's a demon, but uh, it goes into more detail than that. Yeah. Jamie Foxx to so, star in Spawn movie. Spawn has like multiple cameos across uh, Image Comics and other series. 
I think at one point he even uh, made a crossover and he fought Hellboy. Oh, that's awesome. He's fought a, he's one of his main villains that they make comics about him like every year. It's Krampus. Oh, Krampus. We should watch that during Christmas time, dude. It's like a... Oh, the scary movie thing? Yeah. <laughs> I think he just knocked it. Yeah, Spawn fights Krampus pretty much every year. They release a new comic series on it. That's crazy. Damn. That's cool though. Do do we even know when that's gonna come out or anything? Um, the pr- production ceased on earlier this year because of because of COVID. yeah, the virus of course. But they know that this Spawn movie isn't gonna be a hero movie and it's not gonna be mainly action or adventure. It's actually gonna be a horror movie. I like that. Is it gonna be rated R? It's gonna be rated R. I like how superhero movies, like especially the Marvel ones, are stop going from like superhero to more like oh like comedies or horrors like space yeah so, like they're starting to have their own kind of thing uh a big, a big thing that we know about production for a spawn movie and about the script is spawn isn't actually the main character what who's the main character it's the uh, violator this, this is a detective that's gonna be played by jeremy Renner, actually oh really he's gonna be investigating a multitude of like occult crimes and spawn's gonna be like who's hunting down spawn's like this vicious killer oh shit and then they find out that spawn's not like I mean, he is a vicious killer, but he's killing pretty bad people. Who want to yeah. Kill it's like, I'm killing KKK members. <laughs> what <laughs> you want sure. from me? I'm not, they haven't really released, like, the full villain or who the villain is going to be, but it could be any of Spawn's villains, you know? Yeah, this, this sounds like it's still an early, early production. Yeah. Uh, it could be Pompous. That's cool, though. Cthulhu is one of his main villains. Cthulhu? That's cool. <laughs> like, from Terraria? That big-ass eye? No. No, he's talking Cthulhu's about... From, like, Lovecraft? Cthulhu's, yeah. like, the... Yeah. Lovecraftian, like, yeah, god, ugly swamp dude looking thing. It yeah, looks, it looks like swamp thing, yeah, it does look like swamp thing, but um, yeah, that's that's what we know so far. That's gonna be a horror movie oh. that Jeremy Renner's gonna be playing a detective viewing the crimes that Spawn commits, but that's all we know so far. Damn, I think we, I well, I'll be excited Michael, for that. I think Michael J. White did get recast. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's uh, dope. I love to hear that. I love movie news, movie castings. Oh, speaking about news, uh, you know Quibi, the streaming service that it's we talked gone, about? Right? Yeah. It's like completely gone. Yeah, like it's getting uh, either shut down or sold, bro. Oh, check this out. That's crazy. Spawn's actually going to be getting played by Jamie Foxx. Really? Really? I just saw that. I thought that was just a little rumor, though. Damn. As far as the official IMDb page. Hey, that's IMDb. That's fine with me. That sounds cool. Yeah. I mean, it looks like he's going to be wearing, like, a lot of makeup because he's a demon. He's going to have the nice, cool cape and suit and shit. Yeah, that, he actually does have a badass costume, man. I've been trying to tell you, Nick. Jamie Foxx. Might go as him for Halloween next year. Ha-ha. <laughs> <laughs> right, ha before we wrap it up, Nick, what are you going to be for Halloween? Uh, I recently placed my order on Amazon, two-day shipping, for this uh, Spider-Man Far From Home outfit. Are you going to be wearing this on the Halloween cast episode? If it comes in on time, hopefully. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm gonna be the uh, the Tom Holland Spider Man, like the the blue and red one. I wanted to get the little like wrist things, but they make them really shitty and they're like way overpriced. Just makes just get some fake shit. Like, yeah. pick out a big ass watch or something. Yeah, and like wear it back. Probably gonna put some ice on. <laughs> like, and I can do his voice pretty good. Oh wow, Mister Stark! Like, you know what I mean? I can probably make it a little bit better. But it's Tom Holland in it. He's gonna do that. What's up, guys? <laughs> Shooting Spider Man three. Uh, but yeah. Nice thing. What, Christian, about, you? what about you, Christian? Well, Behind um, the camera. I I heard word on the don't street. Don't fucking is, turn it. Word on the street <laughs> is uh Nick Nick kind of double crossed you. You guys are gonna do a group costume and he's switching up. Is that what I've heard? Yeah. So. Um, oh, it's confirmed. The idea was. Oh shit. Even even you were in on it. We got some tea. We're gonna be uh Robin Hood men in tights and then yeah. decided the last minute he wants to be Avengers. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. I tried to organize it with our group. I hit the group chat up. I was like, yo, should I throw something in my house? No one said shit. That's crazy. I wasn't told. I was there when you were talking about it. You yeah. Mean you discussed it. And then multiple times I went in the, over to Marco's house and I tried to tell him, like, what are we doing for Halloween? And he just never gave me a straight answer. Bro, so you, gotta, like, you gotta do shit yourself with our group. Yeah. It's hard. <laughs> Have you ever tried texting anything in Board Boy West Coast? Hell no. Oh, no. I don't even try. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, so Christian, what are you doing now for your costume? So, um, I have this old, like, uh, Department of Corrections dumpsuit thing that I've had for fucking years. We use it for props sometimes in movies that never come out because fucking Nick's terrible director, but... <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, um, but other than that, I was gonna get this cool jacket that's uh, from Cyberpunk for the. Book. I was gonna play V, if you know who that is. The character yeah. got delayed again. Yeah, got delayed. Again. That game better be fucking spectacular. Have you seen the gameplay? I'm so hyped. It looks really good. It looks amazing. Is it? Is that an Xbox exclusive? Combat does not. Look it's not, is it? Huh? Is it an Xbox exclusive or no? No, it's gonna be on PS5 oh, okay. and all that too. I swear I thought it was for a second. I was tripping. Not but you, yeah, you weird. I was gonna have to switch up. <laughs> Dude, exclusives are like what's talk. making people like try to like that's what they're using now to get people to come to their consoles. But we'll we'll do a whole other episode on that. We still yeah, gotta talk gotta about talk about all that. We uh we're gonna upload it soon, but we did a whole stream about the uh, Cold War beta for Call of Duty Black Ops. Got a that lot was of pretty shit. fun. A lot of shit in the works. Yeah. Had it had a little bit of delay because of a uh, dog issue. I know. You know how dogs be. But yeah, we'll be back stronger than ever. Yes, sir. And yeah, uh, I don't, I, before I finish, I don't think I even have a costume. Really? I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. <laughs> Bro, it's well, two days. What's today? The 28th. I'll have to just pull some of that out of my ass at this point. I don't think I can get two day shipping in time at this point. Unless oh, some, sometimes Amazon has one day shipping for some items. Oh yeah, that's I crazy. doubt I can find like a costume thing though. So yeah, we'll have to figure that out. But uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll just pull up the Spirit Halloween or Party City and grab some random <laughs> yeah, shit. Yeah, hazmat suit. Yeah, I don't know. I'll figure it out. I know crazy. Emily wanted to do. <sighs> she wanted no, <laughs> no. She wanted to either be uh, some some shit from Harry Potter or some shit from Star Wars. Those are the two options. So. I'm about to see Emily in a minute. I think she's actually outside already. She's probably vibing out there. Wait, did you get dropped off or yeah. what? No, I, I drove here. Oh. I just didn't want Emily to go to my house alone and just sit there. Oh, okay. So she's out there. So yeah, but... Yeah, I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll probably figure it out by the time we film the Halloween cast. Yeah. She'll be on Friday and then we'll we'll release it. Friday is actually also my uh, okay, guys. anniversary. Oh, really? With Emily. How, how many years? Three years. Three? Damn. Three years. You yeah. officially uh, passed me up in the longest. Uh, <laughs> you know how I do. I longest well, running game. It's time to dump now. I won. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm oh, kidding. Wait, are you okay, 50? Guys. So, for next episode, what we got into an entry, y'all, is we're going to do an interview. The three years later with Josh and Emily. Three by, years later. <laughs> interviewed by Nick and co produced by Yes Truly, the guy. Um, <laughs> Charlemagne, the, the guy. The god. Who the hell raped your sister? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck did he say that so, um, dude we could call it like three year fiance or some shit like how uh how it's like 90 day fiance oh god something like no, that would be pretty that would be pretty cool yeah let's do that all right okay, let's do it. i don't even know what we're gonna do for three years we were gonna do something cooler but wait till Halloween's if though. we can do it now it's friday we gotta shoot stuff that's true tell, tell her fuck the universe <laughs> we'll see yeah we don't got nothing planned as of yet yeah, we'll just come, come show. Yeah. Probably just gonna get some head real quick. Yeah, that's the usual. <laughs> that's what I've been doing the past two years. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, we're gonna wrap it up. We'll see you guys in a new episode soon. Harry Potter episode dropping. Yeah, Stream thanks. Shit uh, dropping. Thank you, Christian, for producing. Yeah, this is. I didn't have to get up once. I'll drop. Uh, I'll drop Nick in my letterbox uh, accounts in the description if you want to go follow us, see what movies we follow, or you know, movies we've seen, and yeah. Uh, yeah. Put this. Put the Twitch accounts in the bio. All the shit in the bio. All right. In the description. Yeah. Bye.